Meyer Goji or Kiryu Goji, who will win? Hello, everybody. It is your host today, Titanus Kingster. I'm back with another video. Today, we are going to be covering Meyer Goji versus Kiryu Goji. I'm also going to be joined by a special guest, so you're going to have to stay tuned for that. So, let's go over the feats of Kiryu Goji. First off, Kiryu Goji has mid to low regeneration. Kiryu Goji's attack potency is multi-continental level. His atomic breath damaged Kiryu, who survived close to its absolute zero cannon, and his physical attacks were also capable of overpowering him. At least multi-continental level stated to be stronger than in the previous film. Fought with Kiryu, who has been stated to be an improved version during Tokyo SOS. For his speed, Superhuman travel speed with supersonic reactions and combat speed. Godzilla kept up with Kiryu, who can move, dodge his atomic breath, and supersonic attack. His atomic breath can move at approximately Mach 1.74. Superhuman travel speed with supersonic reactions and combat speed faster than before, and supersonic, and supersonic attack speed. His lifting strength? He was able to lift Mothra Larva, which can be lift which which can be scaled up to 25,000 metric tons at least his striking strength we don't exactly know a lot about that his stamina is superhuman he has been able to run and fight for long periods his durability at least multi-continent level Oh, do I really have to explain it? He can survive multiple hits from Kiryu, also survive the absolute cannon point blank. His intelligence is average, should have been comparable intelligence to the original Godzilla, animalistic when berserk. In the Kiryu saga, Godzilla did not display much of a defined personality and was depicted as a destructive force of nature acting, prim acting primarily on instinct. It is suggested that a primary reason for Godzilla's rampages is the fact that he was attracted by Kiryu, who contains the remains of another Godzilla. This Godzilla does not appear to become violent or attack unless he is attacked first, after which he will lash out and brutally strike back against his enemies. And finally, there is really no weaknesses to Kiryu Goji. So his overall feats are causing huge amounts of damage to multiple cities and settlements, fought the military numerous times, and fought Kiryu and Mothra. So with this special guest... Everybody, welcome, Isaac. Hey y'all, it's Isaac here. Thank you, Kingster, for letting me letting me on here. I'm going to explain feats of Meyer Goji now. Meyer Goji is that sm is that smart that he knows the the only way to kill Orga is from when he was inside his mouth. Meyer Goji also tanked a whole bunch of explosions point blank, or generally near him. That's about it for his feats. Thank you once again for being on here, Isaac. So, everybody, with that being said, Meyer Goji versus Kiri Goji, who wins? We are going to start off with strength. Strength goes to Kiryu Goji for obvious and multiple reasons. He was able to push around Kiryu Goji with ease and was able to give Kiryu Goji absolute hell. He's been pushing him around like it was a rag doll, and it was generally insane. For speed, Meyer Goji is not really fast, like, at all. Yeah, um... Man. He's slow as hell. Kiryu Goji also takes this one. Durability. Durability definitely is close, but once again, it's going to be Kiryu Goji tank the absolute zero cannon, and Kiryu Goji basically dumped the entire clip on him. No, not Kiryu Goji. Wait, did I say Kiryu Goji? Yeah, if I did say Kiryu Goji, then I meant Kiryu. Kiryu dumped a whole barrage of missiles, weaponry, and an absolute zero cannon on him. Kiryu Goji obviously takes this one. Next up is agility. Um... Kiri Goji takes this one as well. Basically, the only thing that's carrying him is that he was able to duck. That's it.
he was able to duck. IQ slash battle IQ. I'm not sure who I'm going to give this to. Because they both faced Kaiju. But I'm also going to give this one to Kiryu Goji. Um, Kiryu Goji basically fought another version of himself. Which rained absolute hell on Tokyo. Godzilla in 1954 definitely knew what he was doing. So, it was also piloted by a human, I think. I'm not exactly sure. But if it was piloted by a kaiju or a human, it, the result would still be the same. Next up is experience. I'm going to give this... Hmm. I mean, experience is a tie. They've, it's, they both lived for the same years. The, yeah, yeah. Mm hmm It's equal. Next up is powers plus abilities. I'm gonna give this one to Meyer Goji. Meyer Goji. The only thing that's really carrying Meyer Goji is his atomic um is his atomic pulse. That's it. And overall feats is going to carry you Goji. Now you have made it to the end of the video. Who is your winner? Carry you Goji. Low medium difficulty. Thank you for being on here, Isaac, everybody. This is Titanus Kingster and Isaac signing off.